Bienvenue, welcome to Conjure Sound, a ConjureSouth.com. Je suis comme dos la reine Hutu. I am Queen Cole, the Hoodoo Queen. This video, I tried a different intro in hopes to give you some insight to what's going on behind the scenes. So, it's a little bit longer, but I hope that you enjoy. Stay tuned. Bonjour, comment ça va? Je suis comme dos la reine Hoodoo. I am Queen Komedos, the Hoodoo Queen, owner of Komedos Kanja, the creators and founders of the annual Hoodoo Queen Kanja Fet, and the proud owners of Kanja South. Bienvenue et Kanja South, a Kanja South.com. Welcome. If you are here, this means you tuned in for the free weekly Zodiac readings, and I am so happy to have you here. Um, I also want to just say thanks to all of my subscribers, followers, customers, um, but just being on this YouTube platform, I just noticed that we were like over 3,000 subscribers. And I was like, when did that even happen? Like, I, I'm not even that cognitive of what's going on. And so I was like, oh my goodness, when did that happen? So I just thank you all so much for tuning in and finding some light or enlightenment or insight or guidance on any of the videos and i just thank you so very much so again um we're going to get this party started now if this is your first time watching please make sure you subscribe to this channel give it a thumbs up leave a nice sweet kind comment or message below and hit your notification button if this is your first time watching you will understand that i go through Capricorn to Sagittarius when I do the free weekly zodiac readings and we have a couple of really cute announcements to um to mention but we're gonna get right into this I'm trying to really create a good formula a good setup so that things can move a little bit smoother like I I don't mind a 30 minute video I don't but I think it would be um better for everybody if i could just bring it in like maybe 10 minutes you know so anyways stay tuned bienvenue welcome back so again this is your free weekly zodiac readings i am the hoodoo queen and we're going to get into this i want to go ahead and touch on a couple of great wonderful things first of all i am certain you have seen i hope that you have seen if you follow me on instagram that we have in fact gotten um confirmation from my production company that produces and manufactures all of our tarot and oracle sets that they are in production they are moving things along and with that being said we have officially have officially um began the pre-orders for the hoodoo queen tarot now, let me go and give you a little bit of insight on this. Now, I'm very excited about every oracle or tarot or div divination card set that I make. Um, not that, oh, they're the best in the world and there's nobody that can touch these or whatever else, but more so looking at my growth. Um, the very first card set that I made were actually the... Um, the um meadows um tarot the the and so this was the my my coat my and this was very hand drawn pencil um but there there were only for me and my family and um the very first set that i made was the hoodoo queen conjure tarot this is where it differs so the one that just came out is the hoodoo queen tarot the first set was the one that was out for the public was the Hoodoo Queen Kanja Tarot. And this was a 98 cards, large card set of, um, of images and symbolisms of Hoodoo, of um, African-American upbringing, like chicken feed and fish and all kinds of things. But the artwork was like bomb. I had an incredible artist who's my cousin, like world renowned. And 
she did the artwork, which I'm so grateful for. It's colorful, it's um, lively. It actually has some images of me within them, which means particular certain things. And I um, really, really love those cards. The literature behind it, um, the, the books don't make the most sense, um, but it you can understand it. But you know, as, an, as a professional, as a business owner, you like pick all the little small details. So anyways, this um, Hoodoo Queen Tarot, the new one that's now officially pre-ordered, the ones that I've been using now for a couple of weeks or months rather, um, is the derives from that Hoodoo Queen Conjure Tarot. So the Hoodoo Queen Conjure Tarot is lovely, lively colors. The Hoodoo Queen Tarot is the black and gold, but it comes from that set. It's a revised, elevated version. Um, again, celebrating growth, maturity, um, lessons learned along the way um, for me personally, but it shows the symbolisms of steel the crossroads and so forth and so on so really really excited about that and um so that is officially underway and i hope that you all take a moment to go check them out and um see what's up bonjour this is queen comedos the hoodoo queen i present to you the hoodoo queen tarot there is no need for you to maneuver in life without guidance and clarity. Allow the Hoodoo Queen Tarot, this oracle set, to be utilized as a medium between you and your ancestors or spirit guides. These beautifully constructed cards will provide you with strict and precise instruction on how to maneuver forward. You can find these cards at ConjureSouth.com. Abiontu. Ainsi vont. So, next, as you saw, we are shipping out a lot of things. Um, we are on shipping. We don't sit around. We don't just like, oh, lollygag, and it comes when it comes, and you'll get in divine timing. No, it's a business. And so, and I... And I've explained this on a video, which you can find below, um, pertaining to shipment. I conjure everything. And if I don't, the elders that live four hours away conjure the things in our product line, like the fixed candles and the soaps and the oils and the incense. So we um, conjure those things, but then we have someone else package and ship because we have readings and um spiritual work that has to be done for clients and so we can't do it all but anyways we do what would you say um we do have to check in and to keep shipping shipments going that they're not slowing down and really trying to stay on top of them so that the things get out in um enough time ideally i don't want things to I don't want to hold things in house no longer than a week and a half, normally two weeks. Um, some things um, do take two weeks because some things we have to make um, on um, to order. And so there's that. But then I also want to mention the Hoodoo Queen Conjure Fet. So we are still shipping out Hoodoo Queen Conjure Fet items. This is because due to the corona and all of those things different places that we bought our material closed and so we don't have accessibility to those things so we've actually have found a space that will provide us with some of the very final pieces to ship out the hoodoo queen conjure fat um the hoodoo queen conjure fat products now let me make this clear these products are going to people that paid after um, the the um, the deadline for the tickets to be sold, and so again, the majority, like ninety eight percent of the people, have already received their stuff. But those that signed up, like on the sixteenth and a couple of days afterwards, 
are they're still getting their things and i apologize for the inconvenience but again i have to comply to how the community reacts and responds to the coronavirus as well so there's that whole thing um the next would be the community service i know that people are probably eager and wondering when the next community service is coming um now that we are in the home office and everything another community service will be coming up however my main focus right now is to take care of my readings get into my emails and get out of these shippings um hopefully i will be up to date with everything in the next two to three days and once that is done i will announce the next community service I, I do not feel right in my spirit doing a community service right now um, with other things needing to be taken care of. So there's that. But with all of that being said, um, I do want to encourage each and every one of you. I cannot, I cannot, 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 cannot forget to tell you, you must go visit ConjureSouth.com. My baby, that's where you're going to find the Hoodoo Queen Tarot. Let me make this clear as well. The HoodooQueen.com, it is still a website. It still is live. However, we are phasing out a lot of those products. So discontinuing a lot of those things. And we are phasing it into what Conjure South looks like now. So this way, everything is cohesive. Um, there is the same across the board and we're not running 80 different directions trying to get products and me having to conjure 80 different things um, kind of situation. Get myself in order. I'm a little bit not as put together today. And this doggone mic is going to be the witch of me. <laughs> so anyways, um... Go to ConjureSouth.com. We have amazing classes coming up. Um, we have, I will be teaching a class on ancestral reverence, veneration, and communication. How to properly set up an ancestor altar. Now I can give you some quick boom, boom, booms right here. But in this class, I'm going to also teach you the traditional way, number one. Number two, I'm also going to give you a very um, clear indication on how to communicate beyond they're going to show up in your dreams. It's, it goes beyond that. And so in this class, I will be covering that. Yeye Asata de la Cruz, who is a affiliate of Conjure South, will be doing a class on American folklore and the magic behind it or magic in American folklore. So understanding why you don't sweep your feet, why you don't have two people playing in your head regarding the African-American diaspora, I'm not diaspora, but the community. But she also will be covering other aspects of European-American superstitions and folklore and so forth and so on, native and, and, and the list goes on. She made a beautiful post about Spanish moss, about why it is Spanish moss. So. Go follow her on Instagram. Um, I'll put her um, tag below and all of those things. High Magic Leader Arson McLean will be teaching Astrology 101. Really learning um, the, the, the basics of sun sign, rising signs, the planets that are associated with them and so forth and so on. It's an amazing class. I've taken it once. I'm taking it again because I didn't grow up doing astrology. I didn't grow up focusing on the planets. That's not what we did in Hoodoo. It's not what we did in Obia. It's not what we did in Grigri. It's not a cultural thing. However, it does hold strong importance and influence. And so I will be, um, I will be doing his class again. You can find all of these things at ConjureSouth.com. All the links and things will be below. Classes will begin next week. Not this week, but next week. So you still have a little time to sign up. I think they're like $35. Don't miss out on it. Don't miss out. It's amazing. It's incredible. Um, read the instructions so that you are put in the secret confidential group. So nobody will be in your business. So with that being said, let's get into these free weekly Zodiac readings. 
Bienvenue, welcome back. So let's begin. Um, I did also want to mention before we begin the um, Free Weekly Zodiacs, please make sure that you watch the whole spread from Capricorn to Aquarius, um, from Capricorn to Sagittarius. We are not made up of one zodiac sign. So it's important, to, and this is why it's really, really important to take the Astrology 101 class because your sun sign is one aspect of you. Your moon sign is like the emotional aspect of you. And then your rising is another space of you. So understanding that will really help you understand how your week is going to go on multiple levels. So take the Astrology 101 class. I'm going to take it again. I've taken it one time. I have my notes, but I want to hear it again. I want to see it again. Um, I want to experience it again. Um, and, and there's that. I um, also want to, um, who knows? Let's begin. Let's begin. Otherwise, I will sit here and go all day. I think what it was is I will be using the Hoodoo Queen Tarot um, today. Again, th these are very beautiful. Um, the Hoodoo Queen tarot again derives from the the hoodoo queen conjure tarot but it is it has my family's insignia on it it is um has these beautiful gold edges i mean it's y'all have seen them i i do the free the, the the daily pulls with them so anyways my baby let's begin spirit is speaking they told me to do this two more times okay Someone's father is coming through, actually. He transitioned in the month of November, or either his birthday was in November. And I want to say that his name began with the B, so I don't know if it was like Brian or Bobby or um, Brandon or Bryce. I don't know, but there's, there's like a BR kind of feel to it. Um, and I don't know if he just transition in November or if his birthday is coming up it's just something he, he's making himself known but there's a father figure that is coming through okay but we gotta begin we gotta begin I don't, I'll try to come back to that if, if I can okay so as you may have noticed, when I do my readings, I always go to the eighth card before doing the pool. There is a whole protocol utilizing my Oracle set. Now you can use different spreads and different methods um, and, and follow your own energy or I share your intuition. However, because of where some of these cards are conjured from, um, it, that is very important to understand too. Some of these things are like, I, I have... Um, the essence of the queen oracle, which are these cards, these particular cards are, um, are also available at conjuresouth.com. We have a, um, we have a divination tools, um, product page. Please, um, type in below some of your favorite tarot cards, because I want to supply tarot cards for people if I can. Um, but these were conjured with different spirits. And so the symb the symbology is different. It doesn't have the same connotation. These are personal spirits. And so some of the cards um, have particular protocols. Also, too, if you're interested in getting a private reading from me, you can do so by going to ConjureSouth.com, clicking on the icon that says Book Queen Co. And you have a plethora of options to... Um, to choose from, including video messenger, so that you can see me and I pull the cards just like I'm doing now, it, which I, I love. I love, I love, I love it. It's incredible um, to have that experience and to see each other and those things. So anyways, let's move right along. Capricorn. Capricorn, you get the card of the apple reverse. The card of the apple reverse tells us that this week for you, there are going to be events or people are gonna come into your life or things are going to happen that does not align with your purpose. 
So you need to make sure that you do not allow your interests and your desires to lead you down a road that would take you off of your purchase. Make sure you ask the ancestors for, I am screaming and I have on a mic, make sure that you ask the ancestors for quick discernment and, and to give you the right signs and symbols of, hey, look, this is not who I need to be with or where I need to be or what I should be doing, okay? There's that. Aquarius. Aquarius, you get the card of the bird cage. The card of the bird cage speaks very strongly to restriction, being restricted, being um, tied or bound, um, being stopped, having a delay. So I understand that this comes up for you this week. Um, make this very, very um, well known that I, I say this often. Sometimes your delays is a moment of divine clarity. It gives you more time to prepare better. Um, but then this could be a situation where you need to do a cleansing this week to cleanse you because you are tied. It's not obstacles. It's something about you, something personal that's tying you, holding you, keeping you from um, maturing, moving forward in a particular situation. I need to find a clip to go right up here is what I need to do. Got to invest in a clip, bobby pin, safety pin, something. So the next card for Pisces is the card of Imperial Mercy. This is the card of death. Um, you know, in some, t and let me make this clear too, my tarot sets are really, or are really oracle sets. None of my things follow the traditional format of, of tarot. Um, it doesn't have a large arcana, minor arcana. Some of them don't have reversals. Some of them do. Um, it's a very different system. They're very different spreads. Um, and also with this set, you get a pre-recording um, video of the definitions of the cards. And so you get the definitions and insight like I'm giving you now versus just the book, which it comes with a book as well. But Pisces, you get the card of, of the Queen's Mercy, which tells us death. This talks about death surrounding your life in some shape, way, form, or fashion. Um, this means death. This does not mean, um, oh, just an ending. Yes, it can also be an inevitable ending because death is inevitable. But this talks about a natural cause, condition, situation. And I'm just thinking about the people in my life right now that may be Pisces um, in Alabama. Like literally this morning, there were 75 mile per hour winds straight line winds in my own town that have taken away i mean trees that have been up for 30 40 years um gone in an instant and that's not even with tornadoes and then like tornadoes are supposed to come through t later on today so i'm like checking on everybody saying hey look you know what grandma Dolly used to do my baby go go get your hatchet split this thing don't let it touch your house but this piece of a space of death, so it's inevitable ending without a doubt and could be literal death. So again, these are not things that you can prevent, but these are things that you can prepare for. Um, and if people are safe, you could, you know, be as safe as possible. So there's that. Aries. Aries, you get the card of Imperial Truth. The card of Imperial Truth tells us that this week you're going to have to get to the heart of the matter in situations, circumstances, ideas, or with people. Wherever these issues are coming in at, don't focus on this surface um, level side effect or symptoms to the illness. No, get to the source of the illness, the source of the problem, and once you get there, everything else will fall into place. But this is about you going deeper than deep. And, and if it involves you, this is about going back to your childhood. What has affected you as a child that has you perceiving life as you do today? Okay. Taurus. Taurus, you get the card of the black snake reverse. The black snake reverse talks about being in a space of vulnerability. This is that you need protection this week. Do protection work. 
pray protection around you. Whatever the situation may be, you need to be doing protection because you're vulnerable. This could be your emotions. This could be professionally. This could be a marital um, situation. Make sure that you are doing protection work, protection prayers, um, assessing everything and making sure eat on a mundane level, security even, you know, so just make sure that protection is important. Wearing your gloves, your face mask this week. You may be in, in the midst of, of Rona maybe knocking at your door since they want to try to open up America and such. So be aware. Speaking of, let me have some tea. Hallelujah. Gemini. Gemini, you get the card of Grigri Reverse. The card of Grigri Reverse says this week for you, there's no sense of going into any situation regarding magic. This is a week where you need to focus on the mundane, making sure that you are doing the necessary work um, physically on the earthly level in order to get things done. So if you're having issues with your man or your woman, don't light no candle, don't throw no oils, don't put no dirt. Sit down and discuss. Find understanding. Find the problem. Understand what the problem is. Assess the situation and maneuver on that thing. Change your actions. Okay? Change your actions. And that's what it says for you, Gemini. Cancers. You get the card of the fall, Anton Rivosi. Anton Rivosi is the card of autumn reverse. This tells us that there are going to be natural changes in your life that you're going to be resisting. If you resist those natural changes, you are resisting the natural blessings that come along with them. Do not resist. Even if you don't understand and it doesn't fit your plans, it's okay. It's a divine plan in place. Go with it. So let me check to see. Make sure I'm staying on, on schedule. On, on, right. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancers. Good job. So again, if this is your first time watching, I am Queen Code, the Hoodoo Queen. And welcome to my channel. Please make sure that you do subscribe. Leave a nice week kind comment below, all of the great wonderful stuff. And um, if you're interested in getting a reading, please go to conjurestuff.com or thehoodooqueen.com to do so. I advise you to go to conjurestuff.com because the website is updated. We are phasing out a lot of things on thehoodooqueen.com, changing that whole lineup. So yeah, conjurestuff.com is where it's at. Bienvenue a Conscious South, a Conscious South.com. Welcome to Conscious South.com. Conscious South is the home to Comedos Kanja, the traditional and authentic line of Hoodoo, Obia, and Greek Greek product. Only manufactured by the hands of Queen Comedos, the Hoodoo Queen, and the elders of the Milner Medos de la Pound lineage that date back over 218 years. Are you interested in crystals and gemstones? If so, we provide you with beautifully sourced crystals and stones for your journey. Conscious South prides itself on allowing you to experience traditional and authentic tool supplies that are manufactured by the hands of the descendants of the magic you seek. If you are looking for guidance or clarity, you can experience a traditional divination service or spiritual work by going to ConsciousSouth.com. This could be tarot, bones, or mediumship readings. Je suis Comedos la Reine Udu. I am Queen Comedos the Hoodoo Queen 
of the imperial court of Manor Meadows de la Pound. Bienvenue et conge sal. Welcome. Okay, as we run, let's begin. <coughs> Leo, Leo, you get the card of the sight or second sight or the gift, however you want to view that. It means that this week there will be things revealed to you on a divine level. It also says that you should really listen to your intuition and your dreams. And if you have a reading schedule this week with your reader, mentor, um, advisor, listen to your reading, listen to the divination. If you read for yourself, listen to the cards, okay? Listen to the cards. Don't be like, should I go to work today? And it says, hell no. You're like, hold on, let me try my one time. Hell no. So listen, listen to it the first time. Go with it, even if you don't understand it. These are divine messages. So again, it may not line up to what you desire and what you think or you feel. You have to go with it. Um, perfect example. Last night, I had to do a reading for somebody, and everybody know I am. I'm a traditionalist when it comes to hoodoo. Obi agree, agree. I am a advocate for um, traditional African spirituality regarding religion, traditional African religion um, being represented as such, and I am 100% against appropriation and in in the um, buzzardization of this situation so um even last night during a reading with someone who doesn't follow the african diaspora isn't of african descent interested in papa legba um and all of these things and i did my reading and the reading came back very clear that this was something that he should be looking into um and i could not deny that that's just what it is. So making sure that you do trust and follow your reading and the divination and the intuition this week for you is going to be very important. Virgo. Virgo, you get the card of the coffin nails reversed. This talk about very unexpected situations in your life this week. Very unexpected situations. Very, 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 very unexpected situations. So I wouldn't say be prepared, but so be prepared to the best of your ability, whatever that may come into. So I would say do some protection work again, do some protection work. Um, and again, it, it, it may be a situation where you don't need to be protected from um, be protected from those things that may harm you, but also allow yourself to be open to receive those things that are designed and you are deserving of having if that makes sense at all. So do protection work against those negative things, but also make it very clear that you are open to receiving the blessings that are designed for you, especially if they're unexpected, right? Libra, Libra, you get the card of the bolt. The card of the bolt tells us that you actually are going to be moving forward, transitioning forward, maybe even doing some traveling. But this talking about taking your past lessons and applying those lessons to your future and present self as a wise individual. So this is about growth. This is about the glow up of it all. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio, you get the card of the buzzard reverse. The card of the buzzard reverse tells us that this is going to be a week where old things are going to come up. So I think right now I'm hearing voices, but it's not spiritual voices. I live in a very interesting neighborhood and there is one individual like on a daily basis that walk down the street talking to his highest volume about whatever is going on in his life. And you don't know if he's upset if he's happy if he's rapping if he's mourning if you you, you, don't, you don't get it I, I don't get it 
Anyways, getting back to my Scorpios, you get the card of the buzzard reverse. The card of the buzzard reverse tells us that old things are going to be coming up for you. The things that you did not completely take out of your life, they will be coming up to you. This could be old relationships, old people, old offers. Old things are coming up. But what you have to understand is these old things that are coming up, they have been dead. They were done. Don't put your energy into dead things. Unless it's the ancestors. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we get the card of the hatchet. Speaking about my people in, 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 in my own town um, and using the hatchet. So we get the card of the hatchet reverse. The card of the hatchet reverse tells us that we may be holding on to something this week that will hurt us, hurt, hurt us or harm us. So making sure that we are not holding on to those things. So if there is something that is just not working out, let it go. Mate like a dog on Elsa and let it go, let it go. And um, it's just that simple. It's one of those things. Letting it go this week. Don't hold on to things that no longer provides a service and that could possibly hurt us. Just we come with those that I do. I am Queen Comedos, the Hoodoo Queen. Welcome to my channel. Again, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Hit your notification button. Go check out ConjureSouth.com. Also, go ahead and get your cards pre-ordered. You can pre-order your Hoodoo Queen Tarot today. Um, all the information is on the website in regards to when it should be shipped and all of that jazz. Many blessings unto you. I'll be on to see Steve. Stay safe. I think I said that backwards. Anyways, stay safe.